Hi there and welcome back. So, to continue further in this endocrine presentation series, we will take a look at the pituitary tumors. So, pituitary tumors can manifest in three different ways. Either there is expanding mass uh, that is causing visual disturbance and headaches and then you sense it, feel it, you see the doctor or sometimes because we are dealing with endocrine system so there could be excess or deficiency of hormones and that could cause probably triggered by the tumors or it could be primary or secondary and that may lead to uh, Cushing's disease, acromegaly or absence of menstruation and sometimes what happens your doctor is looking at certain different things for which he did a MRI or X-ray or um, some other CT scan and this is incidentally found out. So those are the possible reasons that one may see different ways pituitary tumor. The good news is this that many are benign, they don't spread, they are non-cancerous but of course uh, they are there. So, variety of treatment options are out there, your doctor may start with the wait and watch approach or may prescribe the medications depending upon uh, the size of the tumor, uh, your overall medical history and profile, okay. So generally uh, up to 1 centimeter and beyond 1 centimeter the size of the tumor labeled in the medical literature is uh, micro or macro adenoma okay and needless to say as it grows if it grows and as it grows it puts pressure on the nearby structures so what could be the potential signs and symptoms headache vision loss especially the peripheral vision um, and Symptoms related to hormone level changes. So, we, if we have to uh, narrow it down as far as system goes, if it relates to the hormonal changes and the deficiency or the surplus, it may be one of these. So, the larger tumors could cause hormonal deficiencies and signs and symptoms could be nausea, weakness, feeling cold, sexual dysfunction, so on and so forth. Uh, over functioning. Sometimes what happens, the, the pituitary tumors can cause overproduction of the hormones. And when that happens, different types of functional tumors in the pituitary gland can have a specific signs and specific symptoms and sometimes combination of both. So let's take a look at few here. So, so ACTH tumors. <coughs> Basically the Cushing syndrome is what? Is the result of adrenal gland producing too much cortisol or overproduction of the hormones by the adrenal gland. That is Cushing syndrome. And <coughs> It can have a variety of signs and symptoms when you have a Cushing syndrome. It may mean high blood pressure, high sugar, anxiety, depression. All these are the signs and symptoms that one may have. Now think logically when we are dealing with growth hormone secreting tumors. How would it impact? These tumors can produce excess growth hormone. In the medical term, it's called acromegaly. So you could have an enlarged hands, enlarged feet, excessive sweating, high blood sugar, heart problems, joint pain, so on and so forth. How about prolactin secreting tumors? So the overproduction of prolactin from a pituitary tumor called prolactinoma can cause a decrease in the normal levels of sex hormones 
estrogen or the testosterone depending upon the sex um, it can lead to irregular or lack of menstrual periods um, milky discharge from the breast the prolactin secreting tumors in men could mean uh, ED or lower sperm count, uh, loss of sex drive, those are the pos uh, possible signs and symptoms. If talking about thyroid stimulating hormones secreting ho tumors, as it relates to, it could mean weight loss, irregular heartbeat, nervousness and how do we diagnose your doctor will either do weight and watch approach um, and sometimes depending upon the signs and symptoms may require uh, brain imaging, vision testing, uh, blood and urine test. As far as treatment goes sometimes Nothing is needed um, and just wait and watch approach and sometimes depending upon the type of the tumor, the size of the tumor, your doctor can decide uh, what is the right course of action starting from medication to radiation therapy to surgery if needed to bring the homeostasis, now you know, right, to bring the homeostasis and bring the level of all the hormones back to normal. So um, that's on the pituitary tumor. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.